I'll go. I know you're focused on the Jets. Indulge us just a little bit. I talk Please, to you, no. I, I talked to, talk to you last year about this, and you, you always said, you know, look, I played quarterback in the league. I'm a guy that, you know, doesn't have a timetable, doesn't have an agenda about being a head coach. But in so much as another NFL team has, has asked to consider you, what's your thoughts about just that opportunity and, and, and being put in that, that group, right? Well, I really think it's disrespectful to the Jets and whoever you're playing that week, really, when you're talking about things that really has nothing to do with Sunday's game. You know, to be honest with you, I am completely focused on this football game on Sunday. Obviously, as a coach, anytime your name get thrown around, I guess it is what it is, right? But it really means nothing at this point, right? <laughs> it really means nothing at this point. And I kind of think it's disrespectful to the guys that you really – work with every day. So that's really how I view that. Uh, if I'm ever fortunate enough to be in that situation, that's when I'll handle it. But as of right now, and I'm really focusing on the opponent we're about to play and getting us ready to try to play our best football. Would you rather have that process for all teams wait until after, after the regular season, after the postseason? I don't even think about it. Myron, obviously uh, Tom has had you know, an incredible year again, you know, leading the league in yards, touchdowns, passes, and attempts completions, um, but, but losing your top two guys, how much has that really hampered the, the passing attack uh, in terms of touchdowns? Like you only have one in the last two games. Well, we're, we're not really out there trying to score touchdowns or throw touchdowns. We're trying to win games and score points. So it don't matter to us how we do that. We're just trying to score points. Uh, I never really count touchdown passes, how many he throw throughout, throughout a game or throughout how many he's been in the past couple of weeks. I really want us to just try to score points, put our team in position, and try to help us win football games. That's really how I see it. Byron, a lot of people obviously talk about the greatness of Tom Brady, but for a guy to come back and play the way he played last week after being out for nearly two months, does that kind of speak to the greatness of Antonio Brown? I mean, I don't know how much more he need to do in this league to prove his greatness. I mean, he's he walked in this league really with it all over him. Uh, as a rookie, you knew that this was coming. Uh, he's been this, this type of player since the second he walked in this league. And you just don't expect nothing else of him really, from really at this point. I've known him so long. That's just what I expect out of him anytime he's out there on the football field. But, I mean, when, when you lose Godwin, got to put the puzzle together a different way, right? I mean, you don't have Ronald, you don't have Mike. So is it just a matter of saying, okay, let's, let's figure out what our strength is now? Yeah, I mean, we lost like 60% of, 60, 70% of our offense in like 10 plays, right? So anytime you're in that situation, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And that's my job. My job is to put these guys in position. My job is to take who's ever coming in, put them at what they do best and let them try to execute that the best best way they can. It's not to make it more difficult or to make them. I can't ask nobody, hey, come in and be Chris Godwin. Hey, come in and be Mike Evans. Who are we kidding, right? But I can ask them, come and be your best self because that's good enough for us. That's good enough for us. That'll help us. And that's what you get from the guys. That's why I love this group, man. You hear me? You guys hear me talk about this week in and week out. I got love for this group because the way they approach it, the way they approach it is the right way. Everybody got their hand in the pile trying to get us better, trying to help us win football games. And they all waiting on an opportunity. When the opportunity comes, it's not an accident that they're doing those things and making those plays uh, because they, we believe in it, they believe in it, and it's just happening. It's just football. All these guys can play football. They wouldn't be here if they could. Have you, have you seen that wide receiver group really step it up knowing that Chris is gone for, for the rest of the year? They know that it's not going to be short term. Uh, need for them to, to step in into a new role? I think just the opportunities. The, I just think it's opportunity. The problem is when you have A.B., Chris, Mike, Gronk, the fifth and sixth guy going to always have a problem with the ball coming his way, right? So it's just opportunities. The fact that these guys were down, now they're in different spots. Now they may not be the fifth, sixth guy in the progression. They may be the first or second guy in the progression. So Get ready for that moment. So when it does come, when the opportunity does present itself, you're ready for it. And all these guys have been ready for it with their preparation, with the way they go about the game during the week. All these guys out here trying to get better week in and week out. You guys 
did a lot more different different personnel type stuff that we saw this past week because of the fact that you had these injuries. How does that help you as a play caller down the road uh, in terms of like just kind of knowing, all right, we, we do have some flexibility here. So, well, we had games where we had them personnel packages out there. It just was probably different numbers. So we try to be multiple. I say that over and over again. We want to be multiple. We want to have different ways that we can help as an offense. Uh, sometimes it's going to be throwing for 400 something yards. Sometimes it's not going to be. Sometimes Tom's going to have four or five touchdowns. Sometimes he's not. The key is for us to be able to execute at whatever we're trying to execute to help this football team win games. You know, he often, needs three. How much have you been in contact with DA these last couple of days? Or is he just leaving you to it? <laughs> well, I mean, I talk to him like every morning. But nothing's really different. <laughs> nothing's really different. Uh, he always let us do what we see and how we saw it anyway. So nothing's really different. We're just hoping that he get well, hoping that he get better. Can't wait to see him back out here. What have you seen with the uh, development of Surreal? Uh, I think he's, NBA was talking about three weeks ago. I think he's the most improved player we've had here uh, from where he came from, from where he's at now. Uh, I think he really put the work in. He worked his butt off every day. He's one of our most improved players since we got here as this as this group of coaches. Uh, I think when he first got here, he was just fast. <laughs> and now you see him developing into a wide receiver in this league. So that's fu that's fun to see too. That's fun and fortunate to see to see when you have the belief in somebody and he has the belief in himself. It's really about the belief in himself. You really begin to see him grow as a player he believes that, you know, he belongs now. And that's a good thing for us because he do belong. There's, I don't know how many other track guys you've been around that have made the transition to the NFL, um, but they, they don't always succeed at it, right? What, what has allowed him to be able to make that transition successfully? Well, most guys that have been playing football all their life, it's hard to get here, right? <laughs> so it's been guys been playing football their whole life, and it's still hard to play on this level of football. So... For a guy that's, you know, used to run track. But I think it's something different because, I, I mean, he's an eight, seven-time All-American. That's not an accident. So it was a different sport. But I think all sports of some sort got – you can compare them in somewhat from a preparation, a mindset of what you got to be as an athlete. And I think that helps him, uh, being, being as though he accomplished what he accomplished on the track. Hey, Justin, got one question. Yeah. Thank you, guys.